Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Welcome to Lancer. In today's episode, Charioteer, from Chandrasekhar and Herschel, by Kaitave. Charioteer, is a person that rides a chariot. Wow this is relatively the most mundane name for a mech we have found in the series so far anyway, chariot racing. Greek, Roman, Byzantine, people just loves to watch fast thing going faster, or just fast thing going crash and burn. Being a gladiator is less dangerous than a charioteer, to the point that just surviving the race alone is enough to make one a celebrity. Named after the profession, charioteer is a mech designed for racing that got put into use on the battlefield as a ridiculously fast scout mech. But first, let us talk about the core bonuses available from Chandrasekhar and Herschel instead. Chandrasekhar and Herschel was a company set up in the aftermath of a successful rebellion by a gladiator pilot slash revolutionary leader June Chandrasekhar, along with former racing pilot Mashes Herschel. With many of their core licenses adapted from gladiatorial and sporting mechs, Chandrasekhar and Herschel's core bonuses are mostly made to keep the pilots safe in the event of unwanted sudden disassembly. All environment adaptation, provides you with resistance to all damage, heat, and burn from environmental sources such as dangerous terrain as well as plus one accuracy to all checks and saves made against dangerous terrain, damage, or status effects imposed by environmental sources. A nice core bonus to have if you are expecting the land itself to stab you in the back. Auto extinguishers, automatically clears all burns from your mech when you stabilize. If you are annoyed with being set on fire, this can somewhat keep it down. Crash bars, reduces falling damage taken by your mech by 3 to a minimal of 0. However, this core bonus could be destroyed as a system by structure check. It's a neat core bonus for those that like to fly or expect to fall. Emergency system override, for once per round when your mech overheat, you may make a boost as a reaction to get out of dodge before making your overheating check. Good if you are expecting a high chance to cook yourself. Hypertuned interface, is rather different than the rest of the core bonus as it provides a major bonus in exchange for a chance to grievously harm the pilot. For once per scene when you overcharge to take an additional quick action, you may add plus 2 accuracy to the roll, or plus 4 bonus damage in the case of an attack. However, whether the action succeeds or fails, roll a d20. If you get 1 or 2, you take 5 AP pilot damage and become impaired until the end of your next turn. If this reduces you to 0 or less health, you are down and out. Finally, blowout panels, when you roll system trauma on making structure checks, you can always choose which weapon or system to destroy without rolling. You also gain resistance to all damage that spills over after taking a structure damage. With that done, let's look at Charioteer itself. Onto its stat, Charioteer is rather fragile but it has an excellent evasion and average E defense. It's ridiculously fast while being tiny, its heat cap is slightly below average, but it has an excellent sensor range along with a good tech attack bonus. Onto its traits, it has four of them. First, secondary motive systems, allows charioteer to boost even when it's slowed. Second, super maneuverability, allows charioteer to continue to move even when become engaged, enemies also do not count as obstructions at all. Third, forward observation suite, for once per round, charioteer may make a lock on action as a free action against a valid target in range 5. Fourth, Hangar Queen, forces Charioteer to require two repairs to repair a destroyed system during rests instead of one. All these traits make Charioteer an excellent scout that can maneuver right around the enemy but as long as it starts taking hits, it's going down. Onto its weapon mount, Charioteer has one, a single flex along with eight base system points for customization. As for its core power, Charioteer can activate its Hyperion reactor for redline protocol. Upon activation, you go fast, real fast. Until the end of the scene, if you move 12 or more spaces in a straight line, all attacks made against you are made with plus 1 difficulty until the start of your next turn. For once per round, you may take plus 2 heat to boost as a reaction when a target attacks you, and if the boost takes you to a new position that can't be attacked because you are no longer in range, area of effect, or line of sight from the attacker, the attack automatically misses. This movement also ignores engagement and doesn't provoke reaction. In short, this core bonus is not only good for moving quickly around the battlefield, it also makes you just plain harder for your enemies to hit you. For the rest of the license, you get glide rollers and remote targeting relay in the first section. Glide rollers, when you boost, you may take heat equal to your mech size rounded up plus one to move twice your speed. However, 
you treat difficult terrain as dangerous terrain while boosting like this. Also, this extra speed doesn't count when in flight or teleport, unless you somehow figure out how to roller skate on nothing. Remote targeting relay is technically not a weapon but rather a beacon shot out of a gun. The damage is okay, range is short, but the biggest takeaway is the inaccuracy tag and the need to reload after each shot. However, on hit, the beacon embeds itself into the target, and at the end of your turn, the beacon activates, creating a small area around itself that moves with the target. In this small area, all ranged attacks against all enemies partially or fully covered by it including the target itself are considered as having arcing tag even when they don't, and all enemies that start their turn in the zone get locked on. Essentially, all enemies within the zone are double screwed as cover doesn't work as well as before and anyone has a better chance of shooting at them. However, a struck target can spend a quick action and pass a successful hull check to remove the beacon, ending the effect. You may also just shoot an open space with the gun instead, hitting automatically. A beacon fired this way is treated as an stationary object that can be destroyed. In the second section, you get deployable reconnaissance carbine and bomblet dispenser aside from charioteer frame itself. Deployable reconnaissance carbine is a very expendable gun. Decent damage, range, but limited round, so at first you might think it's garbage, but this gun doesn't need a weapon mount at all as it only requires a single system point to mount. However, do note that it cannot take any modification. It's still a nice gun to have if you are a limited on weapon. Bomblet Dispenser, is a limited system in which when you are moving, you can make use of the system as a free action to throw bomblet on spaces you have moved over for up to 6 spaces, with the unused space being lost. These spaces are now difficult terrain and any enemy that starts their turn or moves into the space for the first time on their turn must pass an agility save or take 3 explosive damage and get slowed until the end of their next turn. This area lasts until the end of your scene. In the last section, you get variable geometry hull and coarser class comp slash con. Variable geometry hull, allows you to change your mech's aerodynamic capability on the go. As a protocol, you may raise your speed by 2 while taking plus 1 difficulty to agility checks and saves, reduce your speed by 1 while taking plus 2 accuracy to agility checks and saves, or switch back to normal value. The effect lasts until you use the protocol again. Courser Class Comp Con, is an AI system that, like most things in this license, make you and your allies go fast. Whenever you take a bolster action, you and your target may move one space in any direction, and when you scan, you may move one space and move your target one space in any direction you want. And for once per scene, you may also use a limited full action called, Flocking Dynamic. Basically, all your allies within your sensor range and you may immediately move in any direction up to their speed, this movement ignore engagement and doesn't provoke reaction. However, do note that it's limited so normally you can't use it in every scene. This system has AI tag but doesn't unshackle like a NHP. Instead, when it would become unshackled, the GM can move you three spaces immediately in any direction. As a conclusion, Charioteer is an insanely fast scout mech that can both scout well and move fast. However, it sacrifices practically everything else to achieve a speed nothing else could reach. But if you solely want a mech that can go insanely fast anyway, go ahead. Music